the old Dokkan battle was better. Let me explain. During the game's initial years in 2015 and 16, there wasn't as much of a power creep, which meant that players could easily enjoy the game without being pressured to constantly upgrade their units and teams. One could argue that the unit releases back then were more unpredictable and random, because while the super anime was still running, that's true, it felt like the devs could go anywhere with their unit selections. It was definitely more simple during those times because obviously we didn't have stuff like transformations and category teams. Something that a lot of people overlook is that many of the original Dragon Ball Saga characters were featured during these times. Of course you have to look at it through the other side and see what the new version of Dokkan brings to the table. Obviously you have advanced gameplay mechanics, you have different sorts of characters, a bigger variety of characters I should say. You've got new modes like Ultimate Clash. There's definitely a lot more content. And of course, the guaranteed SSR multi. Back then, it was hell. It, you were lucky to even get an SSR back then. And speaking of rarities, you also had, you know, the initial stages of the LR characters. You know, I distinctly remember when LR Goku, the Prime Battle one, was first released. That was a very interesting time because, firstly, it was a new rarity, and secondly, it was free. So that just changed everything. It was incredibly difficult to grind at that time, nowadays obviously it's a lot more easy, but I digress. Back then, LR characters actually had weight, they felt special, you know, uh, nowadays they just throw them out every couple of months uh, with this, you know, routine that they do with Dokkan Festival exclusives. Dokkan Festivals don't even feel like Dokkan Festivals anymore, they just feel like, I don't even know what the right word is to describe it, like it's just... You know, it's just something that they do now. They're, I don't really know what to call it, but they just do it now. It's not really a festival. It's just, oh, this is happening now. Oh, this is happening. And then once in a while, you might get a really good celebration, like an actual celebration. I don't know if you remember the worldwide download celebration for Kula and Goku. Um, I think that was, a, that was a really good one, especially if you look at the uh, Japanese side, their marketing for it. The two cooler wraps, those are pretty special, I can't deny that at all. If you really had to sum it up, you could say that while today's version of Dokkan offers a lot more gameplay and a different variety of characters and a lot more content, some players just prefer the simplicity and nostalgia of the earlier years of the game. And I don't think that's misplaced in any way, I think that that's fair enough. Because when you really think about it, old Dokkan was special. It definitely had its moments, and I think that's important to note. 